the subject of history always interested me and i was an art student as well so if you see the evolution of humankind you can narrate and you can relate through the built form you know from the caves to the ancient times to the roman times to the medieval times to the renaissance and the modern age and that layered with technology and layered with art layered with human experience so it encapsulates the basic spirit of the endeavor of human kind itself but this is something which encapsulates everything so that is why it always interests me for me i've always been drawn on how our environment shapes our inner world and working with architecture working with habitat and zafar it somehow pulled out that language in which i could express myself better so for me design is a very self language which i could manage to express because of the opportunity life gave me for the work which i chose hospital will serve a different function and airport will serve a different function a school will serve a different function by its very definition but that's one part of it a architect's role is to enhance that experience our process is very sensory it's grounded with intuition we're doing engaging all the senses and using the design the space the build form by itself to make it happen and for technology we are supported by data not the other way around we both is believe in a very collaborative approach to architecture itself this project that we did recently is a residential project called garden state where we actually collaborated with different kind of tradesmen with the craftsmen with the artists making pieces of art for certain spaces designing fabrics designing wall textures designing carpets collaboration at a very grassroots level with all the kind of craftsmen the times we're looking at what kind of chandeliers what kind of lighting the house is going to need especially the decorative part of it which also becomes like an art installation it's good fun when you start doing projects and you start you know then the project is living it's breathing it's collaborative the client is there the artisans are there you are there that project is something which is very close to our heart because it's joint vision and joint effort to make that happen AI is going to be a very important aspect of our work and design uh, processes. It will give you very quick optimization of time. It will give you a lot of options. Your iterations will become much faster. But at the end of the day, it is your vision. It is your idea, and the objective is to create that space for the human kind. The space which one designs. need the human intelligence it needs that soul it needs the feeling inside you need the heart where it needs to be because there is going to be a human who is going to live in this house so ai will just be a tool to achieve that objective like i would say ai would become a very strong design companion the future of architecture i feel must be regenerative it should be in context it should be inclusive it needs to respond to the certain situation you know so the response will be the context the response will be the climate the response will be the human needs itself the response will be the existing technology at that point of time so it's not about the style or the trend you know it's far deeper than that please build with conscious design with more conscience travel more travel deeper understand the experiences work around your emotion more than the style respond to the context respond to the people you are working for well, it's a uh, honor to be a part of all the great designers that 
or on this panel. I hope this platform encourages much more conversation on design, more dialogues, more which are intentional, more sensitive and more future forward. Thank you so much Forbes India and Kohler to creating this uh, fantastic platform for design voices to be heard.